about foreigners or strangers in that one, did it? This well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this covenant that God is talking about uh -huh. is the covenant. Um, I believe that people who are joining themselves to the Lord in this covenant, it would be the, the covenant with Abraham. Okay, it's being but, referred to here, okay, which is which is basically is renewed in the new covenant. Look, basically, well, let's see what the new covenant is said for. Go ahead, because Jesus shed his blood. The shedding of his blood was the blood of the new covenant, correct? Yes. Beautiful. Let's read. This is Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 31. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. With who? The house of Israel and the house of Judah. Are the foreigners there? The house of Israel and with the house of Judah. The strangers there. The house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Egypt. The house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Assyria. The house of Israel with the house of Judah. So we're in a new covenant. Jesus shed his blood for the new covenant. And all of those ways you just tried to go to bring other people into it, they don't exist for the new covenant there. Well, it just said in, Israel and Judah. Well, in Acts chapter 9, mm -hmm. it, Paul's mission is described as presenting Christ before Gentiles, kings, and the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. So we have the children of Israel juxtaposed, juxtaposed, the, the, juxtaposed the, 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 the juxtaposed uh -huh. with kings yes, and Gentiles. So yes, it's, it's strange to believe that those Gentiles right there are children of Israel. Now, listen, I, I don't when, have to believe that. I don't, I don't believe it. I just read to you Tobit 13 and 3 that says, right. uh, preach the Lord before the Gentiles, confess the Lord before the Gentiles because we are scattered among them. So there's a reason there. Like, for example, I believe you're a Gentile. These, these nice people up here are Gentiles, right? But I'm still confessing the Lord before you guys because I know that the children of Israel, black and Hispanic people, are scattered here. That's well, what all would that the, What would be the point of doing that if, if only the people of Israel can be a part of the be, new covenant? Because, because I can't... I, imagine me, I have to go find a place now where only black and Hispanic people exist, and a white person or an Asian can never just walk through. But what's the point of Why saying, what's that? the, uh, that's obvious. So there is, since that's obvious, there's no reason to even point out Gentiles in the text that, uh, if that's the case. So yes, yes, the Gentiles yes, yes, are man, pointed man, out because yeah. they can be saved, that's, because that's, they can be in the new covenant. That's not true, and I'll explain why. It does make sense to point that out, because there was something called a diaspora. So that means that Paul was going to have to go on a journey. This wasn't a journey that was going to be fulfilled in Judea. He would have to go out into the diaspora amongst different people in order to complete his mission. But why that's would he, all that means, sir. But why would he, why would he preach to them if he already knows they cannot be in the new covenant. No, it's, it's not about preaching to them. It's about preaching in front of them. Why would he need to preach in front of them? Because his God's people are scattered among the same way. I got to no, preach but if he knows to black and Hispanic people while you're right but, here. But if, he, but if he knows that there are certain ethnicity that can't be in the new covenant, why would he go and talk to talk about Christ to them? Why would I talk to about Christ to you? You know what I believe, right? You know, I believe that you cannot be saved, right? Yeah. But I will still talk to Jesus about Jesus Christ with you, won't I? Yeah, why? The same. The, first off, because I'm going to take it's in 4K, I'm going to put it on YouTube, and the people who I believe are the Israelites are going to hear and see this and receive it based off our conversation. Right. So what I'm saying is Paul didn't do anything different. Yeah, he did. He talked to Herod Agrippa. So what? And he said he wanted him to be a Christian. Okay, After off, Herod asked him if he wanted off, him to be a Christian. First off, do you, do you think that I believe that, that Paul sincerely said that to Herod? You don't, don't, you don't believe I, that because you're an absurd person. Okay, you can say I'm an absurd person, but the Bible tells me that I need to speak softly when I'm in front of a king. Give me that. Proverbs, to pacify the wrath of a king. That's simple. So, ba so basically lie. Violate God's commandment. Hold on. Lie? Hold on. Wait a minute. Liars will have their portion of the lake on. of fire. Hold on, hold on. The Bible, the law of God says, lie not one to another. A commandment to Israelites, right? I could show you men of God that outright lied to people who weren't Israelites. <laughs> but he's lying about the gospel. But to that people, the God's the very important to, message of to, how to be saved. Say so so okay. basically he said he wanted everybody in the room uh -huh. with, with them to to be just like he is oh, okay. after Herod asked him, do you want me to be a Christian? On, no, Therefore, Paul was communicating okay, to all these people that Matt, they can become Christians, Matt, thereby Matt, deceiving no, no, them no, about no, God's no, message, no, the gospel. No, I would disagree. That's absurd. Now, Paul wanting something, right? Paul also told me what? It is not of a man's will, not of human will, of him that run it, but of God's will, right? So if I say, hey, I have a mother that's not an Israelite, 
I wish so bad that she can be a part of this. I would, I want her to be a part of this. Does that make that God's will? My want of some, my desire for something, does that make it God's? No, but his words oh, communicate Mac, something. Matt, 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 Matt. What Mac, he said in response Mac. to Agrippa's question yes. communicates okay, something to the people. Does that mean that's God's and will? Does that mean it's God's will? Yes, it indicates Let's that it's read. God's God's will. Oh, because it's because all, he's a messenger all of the gospel. Will. So wait a minute, is Jesus' will God's will? I'm not because saying all. Oh, I'm not saying all. Oh. Jesus went and prayed and said, "Please, if it can be Thy will, take." Take this cup from me. So Jesus' will and God's will, and you believe Jesus is God. Jesus, the Son's will and the Father's will are not even the same, right? So sure, I'm not saying I'm not saying read. everything Paul Proverbs, believes was was God's will. Proverbs, I'm not saying that. Proverbs 16 and 14. Uh -huh. The realm of the king is as messengers of death, uh -huh. but the wise man will pacify him. The wise man pacifies the wrath of a king, and. Paul follows and was instructed in books like Proverbs, and I believe he was simply following the rise instructions that was written in Proverbs. That's what I believe happened in that situation. And you believe that he deceived a bunch of people about the gospel, hey, which is absurd. Well, listen, you can, you can, you can, you've now painted and deceived a bunch of people about the gospel. Paul's desire, or Paul, Paul posturing a desire for for Herod Agrippa. Who's an evil man, might I add, to be a Christian, right? Right, he can I become a new creation. I don't believe deception about the gospel. I just don't. I just don't. Right, because you know, you're an absurd no, you, person. No, you It's can, completely absurd what you okay, believe. Okay, that's your subjective opinion, and that's no, fine. No, it's what scripture I indicates. Care. Listen, that's fine. I, I, Everything I said, I went to a scripture to back. You can take it, leave it, agree, disagree, that's fine. But I have presented my reasonable evidence for it's why not, I hold the position. It's not that reasonable. Have. Okay. You believe that a messenger of the gospel you, deceived a bunch of people about I, the message of the you gospel. You believe three people is one God. Is that absurd? No, I believe three three consciousnesses exist in one divine essence. Give it up. 